Friends and family, we are gathered together here in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Ken Tolley and Laura Hedrick in Christian marriage. My dearest Laura, with a comma after dearest, I still remember when I walked into that room that you were in the third seat on the right in that cute dress <laughs> and when you looked up at me with the most beautiful green eyes. I am so grateful for you. It's amazing to me the how transformative your love is. You managed to reach my real self and fight through all of my walls even when I feel I don't deserve love. I only get one quote, so <laughs> I'll use this one. To meet a beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend and the most beautiful of women is something entirely apart. I solemnly swear to be up to no good, to do what it takes to make you laugh. There is nothing that I could give you that would match what you've already done for me, so I give you all of me. My mind that you will always have someone to surprise you, and to make sure you know what it feels like to match wits with someone at your level. My shoulder, so you have something to cry on and a place to leave your makeup. My chest, so you always have somewhere to lay your head. And my heart, so that you may never doubt that you are loved beyond measure. I promise to be your best friend, to always be on your side, and to make sure that you always feel loved by me and by Christ. Today is the day that we have hoped, prayed, and planned for for so long. God has given me my heart's greatest desire to finally be your wife. I love your laugh and will go out of my way to say and do funny things just so I can hear it. I love the way your brown eyes sparkle when you're happy and the way the sun brings out the red in your beard. I love the passion in your voice when you talk about Jesus and theology. I love your vast intelligence and quick wit. I love the way that you're such a good dad to Caroline. I love the little ways that you show me you care, like driving in the rain, cooking my favorite meals, and taping the tea bag to the side of the cup so it won't fall in. I vow to be your partner in all things, not possessing you, but working with you as one half of a whole. I promise not to stand in front of you or behind you, but to walk beside you through whatever comes our way. I vow that when challenges and setbacks come our way, we will face them as us against the problem, not us against each other. I vow to apologize when I'm wrong and learn from my mistakes. I vow to always be honest with you and faithful to you in everything I do. I vow to always care for you with compassion in times of mental and physical illness. I vow to give you a lifetime of random gifts and surprises, even if it's just me sending you 30 memes from across the couch. I vow to support you in all your endeavors and always be in your corner cheering you on. I vow to pray for you as I've done since before I knew your name. I vow to spend every day of my life learning to love you better than the day before. There is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion, or company than a good marriage. Here's to our friendship, our love, and our marriage until death do us part. Token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love with this ring, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love with this ring, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For months, you've been asking me when my last name would be the same as yours. Guess what? Today is the day that I officially become part of your family. When God made a space in my heart for your daddy, he made a special Caroline-sized space right beside of it. He knew that I needed days filled with giggles and singing and nights filled with bedtime stories and shadow puppets. I promise to never try and take the place of your mommy, but I promise to love you with all that I have and make sure that you never forget how much you matter to me. 
Today I promise my heart not only to your daddy, but to you as well. You are one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me, and I can't thank you enough for welcoming me into your life and your home and for giving me all your love. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life loving you. Would you like to kiss your bride? Very much. <laughs> kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ken Tolley. We went to listen to Ken speak and preach one Sunday. Again, I told you, that is his thing. He's very good at it. But this time, he had a wonderful cheering section that was seated right behind us. And yes, it included Laura leading the charge. So after the service, I was very curious, so I invited all the friends out to lunch. And so we, we talked and talked, and Laura was very charming, of course. The time flew by, then all of a sudden they had to leave. And they had to leave together. Where they were going, Ken, and Ken was going to be speaking and preaching, and Laura was going to be playing the piano and singing. And it struck me just right then, and again, that's right then, that how perfect they fit together how well they complement each other. I first went to meet Laura, which we were actually talking about today. Um, I told my husband, um, I'm withholding judgment until I know she's nice to Ken. Anybody can fake their way through a family dinner. I want to know she's a good person. I knew that this was the woman that Ken had been praying for, for his whole life, and that they would truly live happily ever after together. Laura is kind, warm, genuinely caring and has a wit to match Ken's, which is hard to find. And all the time that I have met Laura in the few years, um, she has proven to be lovely inside and out and helped Ken be happier than I've ever known him to be. Um, to Luann and Matt, you all raised a wonderful girl. We are so thankful to have her in not only Ken's life, but Caroline's life and our lives as well. It's not often that you see such a perfect, classic, romantic love like Ken and Laura have. And it's truly wonderful to be in that presence. Um, I know at a wedding everything seems more romantic, but they are truly this in love every time that you see them. It's not often that you get to have a best friend in the bride as well as the groom, but God blessed me with them both. Laura, you are full of fire and light. Always shining, always helping others find their way. Ken, you are calm and cool like a steady streak. Never quite still, but always gently moving and bringing life to those you love. Laura, you bring Ken to life with your vibrant nature. And Ken, you keep Laura grounded and safe with your steady heart. You strengthen those you love, you nurture those you care for, and you are friends to all who need one. I am blessed to be able to witness each stage of your friendship, love, and now marriage. My prayer for you as you begin writing this next chapter is that you always try to win each other's hearts. Take time to seek God's counsel and keep Him at the center of your marriage. That you listen to the music you learn to live in the harmony together. And that you never stop looking at each other the way you do tonight. I love you both beyond words. <laughs>